everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today we are off to go to an event to celebrate rosie the riveter and for those of you who don't know who that is i do have all of the information about her in the description box below uh, like i said today we are off to go celebrate rosie the riveter riveter and all of the rosies who make such a big difference every single day don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so and if you have thank you so much so stay tuned and let's go to this event together original Rosie. She passed away in um, March of 2019. 
and this organization meant a whole lot to her. She really, during the time when she worked for Ford Motor, she never considered it any great big deal. It was just, you did it. You just did it. It was for your country, right? And um, she never thought much about it, and she continued working at various to different factories throughout her life. And then when we found this organization, we went on an honors flight to Washington, which she loved. She met a lot of great friends here that she talked about all the time, and uh, just had great, great times. So I continued on with it, and it, it just gives me a sense that I'm still with my mom and all these great people. So. Thank you. We have another rosebud from our organization. This is Audrey Parmentier, and she's going to read um, a poem that was written by a very dear friend of ours, uh, Donnelly Langtree, who is no longer with us. Um, so Audrey's going to read the poem, They Were Roses. They were rosies. They were daughters, mothers, sisters, wives. They were rosies. They worked as riveters, buckers, sanders, welders, crane operators, bus drivers, uniform makers, bullet makers, parachute folders, clerical workers, shipyard workers, assembly line workers, Red Cross, and so much more. They were rosies. They came from all over the country. They came from small towns and big cities. They came from Washington to Florida, from Michigan to Texas, from Maine to California, and everywhere in between. They were rosies. They were teenagers, young adult to senior citizens. They came together with one purpose, to help win the war. They built 80,000 landing craft, 100,000 tanks, 300,000 aircraft, 15 million guns and 41 billion rounds of ammunition. They were rosies. They were more than women working together. They had to raise their children and worry about their loved ones overseas. They were rosies. After all these years, will anyone remember that? They were rosies? Yes. We at the American Rosie the Rivet Association do. That is why we thank and honor them today. And uh, give one big hand, one big last hand for the women like Helen, the members of the greatest generation, the men like Ken. all of you guys enjoyed this event of Rosie the Riveter. Please do read my description box to get to know more about her. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. And if you have, thank you so much. Remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself, and take care of yourself. Until next time, with all the Rosies from Rosie the Riveter event. Bye guys!